Hey everyone, we're here today at uh, in Round Rock, Texas. We're gonna do a removal from a house. The bees in this house uh, found their way through a bathroom vent. It looks like a dryer vent. Um, here's a video from. And they are on the floor of the, these people's office. It's a little small room. It's got one window, one door. They should have cleared it out. Uh, we haven't gone inside to talk to the people yet. We're sitting, parked out in front of their house. Um, but here's what the thermal looked like from uh, last time we were here. It's probably been about three, three weeks, maybe. <laughs> I might have something to say. Yeah. Look at the size of that. Oh, wow. That is where your bees live. Yes. So in order to get them, we have we'd, to go in there. we'd have to go through there. Mm -hmm. And it goes to, where are we? Yeah, about to here, about to where that, that crease is. And uh, I'm gonna get another remo another thermal today to see what's going on. Uh, there, it looked like it was pretty large hive, so uh, you know it's swarm season, maybe they swarmed out. Um, I looked, as, uh, as I was parking here, I looked, I didn't see anything coming in and out, but today is uh, kind of cloudy, about to rain. It rained last night. Um, fortunately, we get to work inside, but uh, here we go. We'll see how it works out. Look at that heat signature. Yeah. You can tell it's right along the uh, the floor joist here. All right. Okay, so it's right here. There. Two. There it is. Is that your spot? So. We took off the carpet, I started pulling back, or as soon as I took off the carpet, there's a gap right around here where uh, the two floorboards don't meet. And uh, so now I'm gonna cut this padding back, take it to the right, back there, and I'm gonna tape that shut just to give us some work time before we start getting crowded out with bees. So far, the, the few that came out have been fine, but it was only three or four. We'll see how their friends are when they come out from this. Oh, that's all there was. Okay. It was just there. Everything else is packed up. Do you want to do another thermal now that the carpet's gone? Yes. Absolutely. All right, here we have the thermal with the carpet removed. And uh, you can see it's a lot more prominent, prevalent, obvious, whatever you want to say. Seems to go back pretty far. That spot right there is where they were coming out. And that's tape that I put there. But it looks like the bulk of it is about there. That's a piece of tape on the wall there. Looks like that's the bulk of it. And away we go. Um, Go. Once I get this off of here, I want to put it on here. So, uh, nice work surface. Snap. You want to film this in here? Um, 
Jesus. I thought I'd be able to put, put this up there, but... I can't. I don't, my, my, I get, I'm gonna get honey all over my phone. I'll take your gloves off. Here. This is all honey. There's the floor that we pulled off. It is solid honey. Yeah, this is going to be a, just a honey removal, basically. I think this front part. Ah, yeah, 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 right there in the leg. I think uh, the brood might be just up here. So, this is going to be cut and dump in the bucket. Cut and dump in the bucket. Put my uh, glove. Um, the blue bucket, if you could empty one out, is just going to be for trash poop. Anything that hits the floor, I think, is going to be trash poop. There's a there's a little spot. I'll show you guys. Right there where they may be going off into in between the the joists there. I don't know if you can tell very well. Right there in the corner. Right here. Um that's the only bit that they may run off on. Everything else. We just gotta vacuum up some stragglers and uh, that's pretty much it for uh, for this hole. And then uh Put that back up there probably not gonna be able to fix the floor because this whole vent has to be replaced because it's all crushed up over here i think uh, but we got to pull the squirrel home out first six hours later so about 30 hours later <laughs> we got everything put back together we have to leave this open because they got to come back in fix that messed up vent but uh there are no more bees and uh we can get out of here so thank you thank you so much for watching if you stayed this long we're sweaty very sweaty <laughs> so have a great day thank you it's about fifteen thousand bees in there so it's really full it is super full like it, would, it, was, it wouldn't suck anymore. Yeah. It's so full of bees. There's a couple of hive beetles crawling around. Yeah, there is a million bees. 